Most modern cameras, or let's say DSLMs, have a back button focus. And uh, let's have a look here. So this is my Sony a7R4. And there is a dedicated button at the back here, which is called autofocus on. You can also customize that button, but typically you can use it to take focus in the same way as when you half press the shutter button here. And there is an excellent tutorial by Tony and Chelsea and Northrup, which I will post in terms of a link below in the info box where they explain why this is a useful feature. Now, having said that, on the Leica SA2, which is uh, this one here, it's not obvious how to do that. And actually there is also no real button here, which is called autofocus and is the back button focus button. So you have the joystick here, you have the switch between EVF and LCD, but there is no obvious solution how to get a back button focus working on the Leica SA2. And uh, someone in the comments asked me if there is a workaround to the missing button. So that button here, is somehow missing on the Leica SA2. And uh, I will explain in this video very quickly, it will be a short video, how to get this functionality almost completely working on the Leica SA2. And for this, we have to go deeply into the menus. Let's kick off the video. So let's now switch on the Leica SL2 and let's have a look at the focus system and also at customization options to get the back button focus button simulated on the Leica SL2. And first of all, I'm here in single drive mode, autofocus single, field autofocus, spot metering, and so on and so on. You see my Leica M10R in the background and when the focus sits and the Leica M10R is in focus, then it turns to a green boundary. There's a new feature which came with firmware 2.0. If I tap and hold, I can actually make the autofocus field smaller or get back to the original setting or make it wider. And that's a new feature which is standard on most cameras, but on the Leica SL2 it's new. Leica came a bit later with that, like sometimes. And uh, I can actually now in the autofocus settings here, I use the thumb control wheel now to not have my fingers all the time in the image here and in the video. I can choose my autofocus type, so multi-field, spot, field, zone, tracking, face and body detection. There is no eye detection on the Leica SL2 like we have it implemented in fantastic ways on the A7R Mark IV, but it's working well for sports as I demonstrated in various videos. And um, I think in general, the autofocus system is nicely developed. Let's go back to field here. And you can also customize now in autofocus mode. You see here autofocus single. I can also customize the joystick. And this is done in the menu at page number four under customize control. And then there is the joystick section. And now it distinguishes between the autofocus mode, which is where I'm currently in, and the manual focus mode. And on autofocus mode, you have here the usual options, you can lock your autofocus, you can lock your auto exposure, or you can lock both. Whereas, and now it becomes interesting, on the manual focus mode, you also have the option to go here to autofocus single or combine autofocus single with auto exposure lock, or even go to autofocus continuous or combine the continuous focus with auto exposure lock or have auto exposure lock only like I was choosing it for the autofocus section and zoom, which was, uh, I think, the setting I had here before. So let's go to autofocus single now for a moment. And let's go back into the camera. I'm still in autofocus mode. So when I half press the shutter button, it focuses. But now let's go into manual mode here. And then in manual mode, if I half press the shutter button, of course, nothing happens because I have via the we had a focus ring on the lens to manually focus. And you see here the focus peaking kicking in when this comes into focus on the Leica M10R body and when it is out of focus. So that's natural. So half pressing the shutter button doesn't do me any service, but if I now press the joystick, you see I have my single autofocus back. And that is very nice because now in contrast to the Sony, where you have here your back button autofocus button, you have your joystick here. And uh, that means you have to operate two buttons. You find it easily because you just go down by one button and then you go up again. But here on the Leica SL2, 
if you customize the joystick in that way, I think it's actually even more convenient because you have it in one button. So here I focus. Now I go to the background, focus again. Now the background is sharp. Go back to the foreground. Now the foreground is sharp and so on. So I can operate with the joystick, the back button focus as well as the location in my scene where I want to focus. And uh, this is, I think, a very convenient feature if you customize it in this way. And you know what? It even gets better. So before we come to the next part, which I called it gets even better, let me add something. And maybe because I think in my video preview here on the iPhone, it looks pretty overexposed on the screen. Let me do some exposure compensation here to get this actually better in shape. All right. So when I said that the autofocus field is not doing me any service on manual focusing mode, that's correct. If I have pressed the shutter button, nothing happens because I have to focus manually, of course, but it's doing me service because in the status screen, you see that I'm here on spot metering. And that means the camera meters light where the autofocus field is sitting. And the best way to see this is to move the autofocus field to a more dark part of the scene. Let's do this. And then hopefully you see it, it's brightening up the preview in the exposure preview. And if I go to the more bright parts of the scene, it will actually darken the image and compensate for that because it's metering light only within the autofocus field here. So my statement that the autofocus field is not doing me any service in manual focusing mode is true when it comes to focus, but wrong when it comes to metering light. Clearly it meters light where the focus field is sitting. That's just as a side remark here. Now, what about the part when I said it gets even better? And uh, if you go back into the menu and we go again into the joystick section, we can also go now to continuous autofocus. And this is pretty cool. And you see this simulated by a little bit of flickering here. When I press the joystick now, it's taking focus, but it is continuous autofocus. So it will keep pace with what's going on in the scene. And what makes it even better is, let's go back to the status screen. And if I go into the focus type, it also remembers and keeps my setting here for that manual focus mode where I can activate autofocus by pushing the joystick. So for instance, let's go to tracking here and then in tracking mode, you see that the field changed now. And if I now press the joystick and hold it, it will stick to my target or subject, which will not work perfectly in this demonstration because I have to move the camera around and not my subject is moving, but my camera. But if I quickly take my SL2 into my hands and move it around, as you see here in that demonstration, it nicely tracks in the autofocus field my Leica M10R and uh, it's actually quite sticky to the subject and the target. So whatever focus type I've chosen here, no matter what it is, it will be available in manual focus. So here and can be activated by pushing the joystick. And that's a pretty cool feature because it will recognize what setting I had before. And the same applies, by the way, to light metering here, no matter what I have chosen, spot or center or matrix or multi-field, it will recognize that in that special setup where I'm in manual focus mode, but use the joystick as a back button focus button, which is very nice. And that's basically all I wanted to show. It answers questions which came up in the comments. I think it's a convenient feature. It also, in addition to other cameras, gives you the joystick to actually move the field or the, you know, the spot or the part of your focus points and at the same time activate them by pushing the joystick and you have it all in one hand. You only have one button to control, which is very convenient. And in this way, you can get the back button focus simulated on a Leica SL2 despite the fact that there is no dedicated button for that, like you have it on the Sony a7R4. It's not exactly the same. If you watch carefully Tony Northrup's tutorial, you see that he makes several remarks which will not even apply in this particular setup here. So it's not giving you, I think, 100% of a dedicated back button focus functionality, but it's giving you most of it and it is very convenient that you can switch very quickly from manual focus into autofocus by just activating the joystick if you did the customization as I was showing here on the customize control menu section 
on the joystick. If you liked that video, don't forget to drop me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful and peace out.